Welcome to the Kettle Land Sports Zone. I'm Travis Fawcett alongside Sean Bauer. Tonight we'll spotlight 10 games from across South Dakota, Iowa, and Minnesota, and we start in Class 11 AAA. It was a top five showdown in Harrisburg featuring the third ranked Tigers and number four Lincoln. First quarter, Harrisburg gets the scoring started. Jacob Knuth lobbing it in for Ethan Rollinger. He hauls in the 23 yard touchdown. Tigers go on top 7-0. Ahead to the second quarter, game now tied at seven. Harrisburg facing fourth and eight from the 50. They're going for it, and they're going for it all. Knuth going deep for Carter Barenfuss. He'll bring that in, shed the tackler, and take it in for six. 14-7 Tigers. And later, Lincoln lining up for a field goal, but it's a fake. Peyton Hughes rolls right and throws the end zone. Luke Smith with the great adjustment comes down with it. The 19-yard TD ties the game up at 14. And less than 30 seconds to go in the first half. Lincoln going for it on fourth and 14. Tommy Thompson drops a diamond for Robert Hutchinson for the 28-yard strike. Patriots grab their first lead of the game at 21-14. So there's 12 seconds left till half. Lincoln just looking to get into the half with the lead, so they'll squib kick. Kevin Ross has other ideas, though. He'll field it, go right, and he's going to cut it back the other way and then has only the kicker to beat. You might not be able to see it, but he motors all the way down the sideline and takes that to the house. Tying this game up at 21 as we head to the second half. Third quarter, the Patriots' first possession. Thompson going to look for Hutchinson again, and once again, those two hook up for six. This one from 26 yards out. Lincoln back up by seven, but despite trailing by 14 in the fourth quarter, Harrisburg storms back, scores the game-winning TD with 104 left in the game as they prevail 46-42 over Lincoln. Good game. On the heels of last week's win against Washington, fifth-ranked O'Gorman met Watertown. On the night's opening drive, facing fourth and four at the Arrows five, Tegan Schlimgen is sacked by Hunter Winches and Mac Johnson. Watertown football. Second quarter, still no score. O'Gorman deep in Watertown territory, but Jacob Schwab is stripped of the football on the spin, and it's scooped up by Devin Miles. It's Arrows football. On the heels of a muffed punt, the Knights score the only points of the first half. Zach Riedel's 27-yard field goal up and good. OG leads 3-0 at halftime. Third quarter, a roughing the punter penalty extended the night's opening drive and one play later. Tegan Schlimgen deep to Sam Stuckel who hauls it in and scores a 49-yard touchdown, 10-0 Knights. On the arrows ensuing possession, quarterback Cale Stevenson loses the handle on the football and Carter Peterson recovers the fumble. O'Gorman takes over at the eight yard line. A few plays later, the Knights go back to the air and again it's Schlimgen throwing a fade to the corner of the end zone where Stuckel makes a great grab and gets the feet down for a 13 yard touchdown. It's 17 nothing there. O'Gorman led 31-8 and survives a furious fourth quarter rally by Watertown, 31-29. A pair of contenders clashed in Class 11 AA as Brookings hosted Pier. Opening quarter, Bobcats have it at the Pier 7. Jackson Bowes gets it out to Max Strzok quickly. He'll then power his way into the end zone and Brookings takes a 7-0 lead. Governor's looking to answer back from the Bobcat 3. McGuire Rasky takes the snap, calling his own numbers. He takes it up the gut and finds Pater. Pier evens the game up at 7. Second quarter, Govs knocking on the doorstep. Lincoln Kineholz gives to Rasky. He'll find the end zone for the second time of the night. This time from a yard out, Govs up seven. Fourth quarter, Pierre leading by one, going for it on fourth and goal. They give it to Rasky, but the Bobcat defense rises to the occasion and stuffs him short for the turnover on downs. Ensuing Brookings possession, Bowes drops back, finds Keegan Fields open over the middle. He'll then outrun the Governor's defense for the 79-yard touchdown to put Brookings on top. And the Bobcats pick up their first win over Pierre since 2013, 21-14. Top-ranked T area attempted to stay perfect in Class 11A at Sioux Falls Christian. Game's opening kickoff, Gage Griebel kicks an onside kick that bounces off a Titan and is eventually recovered by Carter Van Dong. Chargers would turn that into a field goal. Christian leads 3-0. Late in the first quarter, the Titans looking to grab a lead. Austin Lake runs left and cuts back against the defense. Takes a 29 yards for a touchdown and the PAT Titans on top 7-3 after one. Late in the first half, on the heels of a 52-yard run from Connor Mulder, Titans cash in. Caden Johnson up the middle, powers in from 11 yards at 17-3 T area. Second half, the Titans continue to roll on offense. Austin Lake 
Fires downfield to Mulder, who makes a cut and walks in for a 23-yard touchdown. Titans up 30-9 at that point, and they pick up a 30-9 victory over Sioux Falls Christian. We'll have highlights from a trio of nine-man games next. This is the Kettleland Sports Zone.